Hey gang, welcome back to another stream. Let's see, la or last stream, which was what? Tuesday night, yeah, excuse me. We finished uh, Turnip Boy. Yeah. I swear, still, still had that music stuck in my head even a couple of days later. Yeah. What was the full title of it? Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion. So it was a fun little game. Let's see. Uh, oh, tonight we're starting a... Uh, it's, it's a point-and-click game. Uh, it's called... Uh, how do you pronounce that? Uh, Trevor Brook? Remember? Yeah, like every game we play, I, we, you know, we're going into it pretty much blind. Don't know much about it. Just it, it is a point and click game. Um, it does have a very unique art style to it as well. Um, it almost looks like a. Um, If I'm thinking of the, the screenshots, make it kind of look like uh, almost like stop motion, sort of. If you're not familiar with the game, it'll make more sense when we start. Speaking of which, let's get started. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Well, I guess go with the. So you got prologue and pre title. Uh, go with pre title. Sorry, pal. We're out of gas and your engine is boiling. Let's see if we can fix you up here. We'll be back on the road in no time. Stranded in the middle of nowhere. Oh, yeah, look at I me. Mean, look at that art style. Beautiful. I well, think, you know, I'm the kind of person that's just easily impressed by pretty graphics. So, you know, I mean, that could all be ruined by poor gameplay, a uh, mediocre story, bugs, you know, like that could just ruin it. You never know. N no, not the bugs over by the light. Just, you know, gameplay bugs. Tiny rock gas station, a beacon in the dark. Okay, so I guess that's inspect, speak, not sure, that should be interact. No juice. Terra Incognita Scenic Highway. Next town ahead. Long shot by the sea. Sounds promising. Out of gas. And the engine is overheated. Not a chance. I need to find some gas and engine coolant first. Okay, so there's the gas, but no juice. Some of these constellations seem familiar. Or do they? Let's see. What have we got here? Some of these const Hmm. All the same? Some of these Yep. Some of these yep. Milestones. <laughs> Did they ever actually help anyone? 
Dad used to say, a flawless establishment needs flawless window panes. My tires should still last a couple of miles. Hansen's ice cream. I used to love it when I was little. Yeah, so I mean, what, what you have to realize if you're new to point and click games, they're definitely not for everyone. If you're more, if you're more used to playing really like fast paced games like uh, first person shooters and stuff, you might not like uh, point and click. They're very usually very slow paced. Uh, normally, numerous objects to interact with, to look at, to inspect, and all that. If it wasn't for the sand and rubble, the impenetrable darkness, the legions of bugs, and that awful smell of gasoline everywhere, this shore could make a nice place for a picnic. Somebody forgot their toolbox. This loot box contains only some rusty pliers. We stole those pliers. At least the cold chain is unbroken. In the ice cream? I wish. It's frozen shut. Ooh. So I'm guessing, uh, let's see, is there... Let's see. It's interesting, you got kids mode. I mean, I wonder if it's like maybe like blood and uh, coarse language later on. Maybe that filters it out. I guess what do we got? We got uh, point and click, walk, interact, uh, double click, power walk. Uh, As inventory, space bar is hotspot indicator. Let's see. Power walk. Okay, regular walk. Power walk. <laughs> okay, there we go. So I just put X on everything to interact with. Man, I know there's things like that in other uh, point and click games. I think I rarely use them though. I always just move the cursor around, trying to find what you can interact with. And sometimes, if I think I've interacted with everything I can, then I'll do something like that. Just as a double check. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, don't. Let's see. Uh... Hello? Anybody in there? I could really use some gas. And I don't think they gave this person's name just yet. Did they? I mean, I've actually been paying attention, so I don't remember seeing it. Meals on wheels. Your order is waiting. That's just being tricky. Right. Tax investigation. Open the door. Well, taxes. Oh, is Turnip Boy in there? Can you please let me in? I'm totally not a vampire, I swear. That's what a vampire would say. Locked. Of course. Okay, so we know what that is then. So if we have objects we can use... And we use it on said clickable object, just like that. How should I open the door with these rusty pliers? I don't know. Smack the knob a few times. Okay. Uh, all right. So check in. We clicked on these. It says the same thing for all of them, though. Uh. Did that one, did the window, 
that one, that one, that one, that one. Yep, 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 yep. No, just this one. Does it ever rain here anyway? No way. A hidden replacement key. That was too easy. As if it wanted to be found. Why would you keep your key in a downspout? I mean, come a good rain, wouldn't it get knocked out? Even if they had put it up there in the gutter, it would still probably get knocked out. Well, at least we can get inside. It fits. That was almost too easy. It's pitch black. I can't even see my own hands. Power walk. Well, this gives us a better look at the character model, though. The eyes are kind of freaking me out, though. One thing I always do with a character model, and it's going to be, it's going to sound stupid. <laughs> and it bugs me if it doesn't do it either. I have to see if they blink. I've always done that. I don't know why. I think it's just to see if they put that detail in the character model. Because we have a character that just stands there all dead eyed. It's very, it's very off putting. Alright, let's see. There's something funny about that picture. That looks like the wire or whatever that is goes behind it. Oops. Oh, well. A hidden switch. Uh, I like the only. Let's see, yeah. None of the other pictures are interactable. Um. Still a beer? No. Uh, yep. See. see. This must be the main fuse. I'll turn the lights on, then you can interact with stuff. <laughs> I know this image. Daytona Beach Race 58. What an event. The landscape on that picture vaguely reminds me of... home. It's a picture of a buffalo. Extra large, no refill. What I wouldn't give to be there. Same thing. What I wouldn't yep. give to be there. This is the end of nowhere. I wonder if these postcards would ever reach their destination. This one shows a map of the area. I'll take it with me. Quite off the beaten track. Well, that said, uh, let's see. Yeah, it said I show inventory, but oh, oh, no wonder I was looking. It's going up now, but it's up at the top. Hmm. Cherry pie. If there's something I can't stand, it's cherry pie and hot coffee. 
We don't like tree pine hot coffee. Five percent cold cuts and seventy-five percent cling film. Thanks, but no thanks. Looks dusty. Looks dusty. Complain, complain. Again, the ghastly tune. All I have left are a few Deutschmarks. Pretty useless out here, anyways. Coffee. If there's something I can't stand, it's cherry pie and hot coffee. Well, I mean, I'm not really a big coffee drinker myself. And honestly, pie, I could take or leave. Da, da, da. Let's see. Electrical cables. Da, da, da. Anything else to interact with? We got this. Zip. Not sure why we did that, but we did that. If that's it. Yes. Water is leaking. Oh, cold water from a motorcycle. Cold as ice. There you go. Have some Kool Aid. Nice. It's just one short circuit before everything blows up into my face. Now they are working again. Drink up. You must be dying of thirst. Yeah, and I think that we're going to see. Don't check. Some of these constant. Yep. Those pliers won't help me with that. Gotta try everything you never know. Done. Finally, we can make off again. Oh, come on. Start already. It's that darn oil pump again. Looks like we'll be stuck here for a while. <laughs> Look at the way the music just cut out like that. <laughs> Record scratch.
the Lazarus Incident. When's the next bus back to the city? Beverly, I have arrived. I feel spewn out into the most barren, dark void of Europe. All things considered, this could most likely be the best vacation ever. Feeling chilled out already. You've got no power wall. The next city is like a thousand miles away. Ah, yes, that's where I am. The bus stop, my gateway to the outside world. Its heydays are over. Paddleboat rental. One hour, one Deutschmark. Hades. Paddleboat rental, souvenirs, fishing supplies. Well, I didn't know it was to look at the, the lake. It'll say something about the, the dock. See, the, the character model is unique on that one. It reminds me of something... Um, Was like a uh, I watched it on HBO Max. Um, it's from Studio Ghibli. Um, I think uh, Hayao Miyazaki's son made it. Um, but it was all like computer generated. The model for somebody reminds me of one of the characters from that. I think it's the nose on them. As dumb as that sounds. A hiking map of the region. The upper section has been torn off. Trevor Brook. County of Broken Landa. One kilometer. Or well, 0.621371 miles. Well, we know how it's pronounced now. Trevor Brook.
arrived at destination after a short walk. Trubberbrook, a tranquil little town. Seems a bit run down. I must say, Beverly, I absolutely fell in love with this town already. So, I mean, let's see. First impressions of the game. I love the art style they use. Uh, it's hard to say anything about gameplay when it comes to a point and click game. <laughs> Uh, I mean, so far we don't know anything about the story. Uh, we started out with the was the pre-title one, plays a female at the gas station. And then after that, we're here at the prologue, playing well. I don't think they gave us guy's name, did they? Wooden fences always remind me of my old neighborhood. That's probably the town's landmark. There's a selection of local charcuterie on display. Wurstebrei, Stippgrütze, Schlachte Platte, Pothocker, Tote Oma. I'm glad he's saying all that. Because if I try to pronounce all that, I would completely butcher it. The mysterious village. Who is into this kind of stuff? Beverly, I discovered the local movie theater, Mobius Palace. The favorite genres around here appear to be Western and Noir. Well, I wonder if, he, if he's like some kind of um, journalist or something, where he keeps uh, making recordings. This must be the place. Okay, so what's here? I should check into my room first before I start exploring the town. That's where looking at that, it looks like it's blocked by a big old boulder. Small ads, postings, announcements. They're holding a town fair soon. Exciting. Check into our room first. Evening. Hi, it's her. Hey. Nobody there, huh? Doesn't seem so. Oh, and so far the voice acting seems good even though to be fair we've only heard two characters talk so far whoever was driving the VW bus just left us where is everyone I saw someone here just a minute ago Today's menu, nothing. Yeah, I didn't know where it's kind of, it's animated. <laughs> That's quite a few fishing rods they have there. They don't seem to have many bookings. All the keys are still there. Please ring bell for service. 
We only serve small pots of coffee outside the restaurant. Look at all these beautiful people. We got here. Save the world thrice, but no one will ever know. <laughs> Must be some kind of ancestral gallery. Runner up for the second annual pretzel eating contest. Owner of the much loved coffee house. Through Brook Castle, captain of the local football team. Hmm. Yeah, according to legend, this young and reckless musician translated a copy of the Necronomicon. So he translated the Necronomicon into Spanish and intended to write songs based on it. He disappeared soon after. <laughs> well, you don't mess with the Necronomicon. The inventor of the sheet music based programming language Sherman Plus Known to be mastered only by a few experts. Old inventor of Tespresso. Likes to ride a bicycle without being able to control it. Hmm. Those together were her two imaginary shaven cats, Butch Cassie and Sundance Kid. I did like that you could actually look at these. This leads to the rooms. Ring that bell. Hello? It's not ringing a bell. I'm not going to give up. Good afternoon. How can I help you, darling? Um, there's a room reserved for me. You know the, the lottery? I won a stay over here. You won? How can you win a stay in Trüberbrook? Well, actually, I don't really remember taking part in any lottery myself. Yet I received this winning notification. What was the name again? Uh, Big Tan Houser, Hollenstrans Houser, Dr. Hollenstrans Houser. Oh, did you drink? Hmm. Uh, hmm. Hans Tannhauser. Dr. Hans Tannhauser. Tannhauser, Tannhauser, Elevenhauser. <laughs> Oh, oh, Dr. Hans Tannhauser. Oh, yes, here we have it. We finally got a name. Say, is it a quiet room? Seeking some peace and quiet, uh-huh. Well, I'm working on a text, and I could really use some serenity. Text? Are you a kind of writer or something? Let's see, I'm broader sense. I'm a physicist. Normally I work for a university. I wouldn't say that. I'm a physicist. Right now, I'm writing a paper on quantum physics. I've heard worse. You arrived just in time for the big anniversary celebration. Trüberbrook is a bit noisier than usual around these days. But apart from that, I'd say you have nothing to worry about in terms of disturbance. Here's your key, Dr. Tenhauser. My name is Trude, by the way. 
If you don't mind, where are all the other guests? Let's put it this way. The season in Trüberbrook is already over. I get the impression the season has been over for some time. Uh. The whole way I'm looking right at the camera's a bit off putting there. <laughs> Just disappear with my paper? Something unusual happened. There was an uninvited guest in my room tonight. Now that he's escaped, I'm going to chase him down. Hell yeah. Now we're getting a bit interesting. Nessie. Creepy. Some kind of a sea monster. Must be a local myth. I don't want to go back to bed. I'm on a mission. Hanging dead animals on your wall is a bit eccentric. At least it seems the burglar didn't rummage through the cabinet. What a mess. I don't want to mess up the crime scene. Crime scene? What is this? Some kind of goo. Ectoplasm. You know it's true. All right, he's got the power walk too. He broke the globe. Where did he go? So many rooms. So few guests. Okay, so we've interacted all with all this stuff when we first came in. Darkest night. In the pale starlight, this village appears to be composed of jagged silhouettes and loneliness. A trail of goo. The trail leads. Hey there. Taking a little night stroll? Someone was in my room. You only just got here and you already have secret admirers? No, it was a burglar. I think. Well, I haven't seen anyone sneaking around here. But if I were you, I would probably follow these somewhat extremely obvious footprints. You've got a point there. Please excuse me. This situation is growing aggravating. I followed the person who stole my notes into a kind of dead-end street. And now he's vanished. Picture me standing here at the edge of the world stripped of my writings. I wonder who on earth would steal a paper on quantum physics. Yeah, the guy seems very dramatic, doesn't he? I wonder if she knows something about the burglar. Do you like ghost stories? It is said that a proto-Germanic cult used to live up here in the mountains. They prayed to the spirits of the forests. I know it's a long shot, but maybe this visitor of yours is one of those spirits? Evil spirits? This guy wasn't really a ghost. These proto-Germans sure had a lot of imagination. I thought so as well. Those proto-Germans sure had a lot of imagination. Nonsense, I was just trying to mess with you. What was your name again? Tenhauser? Name's Gretchen. 
I'm an anthropologist. In fact, those old proto-Germanic ritual grounds just so happen to be my special subject. One of them is supposedly somewhere around here, though I haven't been able to find it yet. Gretchen, well met. Now that's all well and good, but what am I going to do without my notes? You know what? I'm going to help you track down that burglar. It looks like he escaped with one of the old gondolas. I bet he's hiding somewhere in the mountains, which incidentally is also where I was heading. Come on, you're a scientist. You're coming with me now and you're going to help me find this ritual site. Who knows, maybe you'll even find your evil spirit there. The one with an interest in quantum whatchamacallits. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. So what do you say? You with me? Want to meet the mountain spirits? No thanks. I already have an appointment. I'm not so much of an anthropology guy. Better call the police or an exorcist. I... Ha! I knew you had the spirit of adventure in you. Are you ready to go? I'm ready to go. The early bird catches the warm and all that. We have to find a way up the mountain. It would be easiest if we used a cable car. I reckon that's also what our friend thought. The cable car doesn't exactly appear to be in pristine condition. What do you think? Don't worry, I'm sure I can fix this. Chapter 1. Welcome to Trooperbrook. I can't fix this. <laughs> The master key is missing and the weasel damaged the electric mains. Maybe it was the burglar who did this. The plan. I'll hold the position and try my best. Why don't you take a look around town? We need the master key for the cable car. Also, we need to override the broken mains. Think you can remember that? I'll try to remember. Let's go. This is going to be fun. Let's see. Uh, record. The local gondola lift's hauling cables seem to be intact, although there aren't any gondolas or mining carts attached to it. A smell of oil and soil lingers in the air. So let's see, we got, uh, what? Tim Halser, the physicist. And Gretchen, the anthropologist. So, got names now. And the only other character we've actually met, that's not counting whoever's driving that VW bus, because she didn't see anybody driving it, was the woman at the uh, inn. These binoculars should provide an excellent view of the opposite lake shore. I have to insert a coin first. Well, I don't have a coin. It's glowing red. It seems you need a special key to get the thing running. Indeed, Mastermind. Did you already ask around town? I met a woman named Gretchen in Trubber Brook. She is a fellow scientist. Gretchen studied anthropology in Vienna. Uh, could you please focus on the task at hand? voltage. There's got to be a way we can fix this. It's a well-known fact that weasels have a dangerously loving affection towards all sorts of cables. The present case suggests a rather impressive specimen, judging by the thickness of the cable. Last resort, self-termination. Danger. High voltage. This old generator is running at maximum strength. It's even sending out sparks. Judging by the smell, this was used to transport cookies and lollipops. Okay, so we got a box.
Looks like a recorder here. Here's plane ticket. And the box. Hello? Anybody there? What was that? Time waits for no man, not even in Trevorbrook. I discovered a modern telecommunication system further uptown. This might be important to anybody wondering if the world is still turning at the end of the line. platform further uptown presents a wonderful view of the valley. Leaning on this rusty rail, nose to the wind, I can let my gaze wander freely to the other shore and across the mountains. I think that was all to interact with. Let's see. Except for that one. I wonder what that is. Hmm. Locked. Yep, 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 yep. Now, I thought when you use this, you'd find like a coin or something because you need a coin to operate this. Guess it was too easy though. It's a new person. Maybe one over here. Looks like it was struck by lightning the other night. Still looks in good condition, though. <laughs> this bucket seems to have been hung here for purely decorative reasons. Wooden fences always remind me of my old neighborhood. Small heads, they're holding an exciting same thing. This table, it has a wobble. Everything's going down the drain around here. Good morning. Excuse me, sir. Get yourself a nice spot here. Are you all right? I've been wondering about the cable car. Never mind. You've got yourself a nice spot here. It's heartbreaking to see the town in decline like this. Everything's going down the drain, just like this wobbly table. Actually, it's quite a nice table. Be careful. The table is wobbling terribly. You better keep your distance. This table has a horrible wobble. Good morning. Excuse me, sir. Are you all right? Please don't ask. I can't even savor my cognac as long as this terrible table keeps on wobbling. Good morning. Excuse me. I've been wondering about that cable car. Ugh, I don't want to think about the old cable car. This wobbling table is simply unbearable. It's driving me crazy. You better keep your... Okay. She's the landlady here. Precisely. Good morning. Morning, Mr. Tenhauser. Oh, we can go over here. I'll be leaving. Make your spot the buffet. Hmm. Now where would 
this lead to? Well, the new person. Locked. Hey, please don't hmm. stand there. There's something funny <laughs> about that clock. A dim oil painting showing a couple of withering roses in a vase. Some of the varnish is starting to come off. How poetic. This can must have fallen off the table. Well, if you can use, use the tape can to fix the wobbly table, maybe? Is that a maggot? Well, it's having a good time. They serve traditionally hearty local meals in this place. Apparently, a few maggots found themselves a lovely home in there. I'll save you, my little friend. So he took the maggot. Okay. Modern cuisine. A lump of minced meat in the shape of a hedgehog, garnished with spike resembling breadsticks. Toast to wine. Cheese skewers. Looks a bit shabby. Note to self, the buffet in this guest house is an obvious case for the public health department. I don't want to take this with me. If anywhere, it belongs in the but I love skewer. Hmm. Stand in front of that TV. Hey, you are blocking the screen. Science fiction. Something involving spaceships. Please don't stand there. Excuse me, didn't mean to. What's that you're watching? Never seen a TV before? Coming up next, a new episode of Rocket Ship Andromeda. Uh... Have you been living under a rock? With a TV set, you can take journeys to other worlds. Now that I think of it, I have never seen you here before. Are you from another world as well? You bet I am. Not specifically. Depends on how you look at it. Depends on how you look at it. My name is Hans. I just arrived from Berlin. Hey Hans, I'm Leni. My mom owns the place. 70,000 light years from home, the rocket ship has stranded in star system Omega-3. Is Berlin also in star system Omega-3? Berlin is located right in the middle of Brandenburg, so it is worlds apart. Brandenburg? Never heard of it. Star Cyber Notation Commander Aurora is searching for a way back home. And what do you do for a living? Are you a famous cyber notation too? Astronaut. Wave pool supervisor. Parachute tester. <laughs> quantum physicist. I'm a quantum physicist. Quantum what? Anyways, I'm going to be a star cybernetician. Only Commander Aurora can disintegrate the even Rolands into thin air with her space beams. So, do you Bellinellians have any special powers? Can you make things disappear? You make those little kids disappear. I can make incredible amounts of candy disappear. If you're referring to my bank deposit. I can make no air because I can make those kids disappear. That's what I thought, yeah. No, that's not even possible. I can make incredible amounts of candy disappear. <laughs> I can do that too. Stay tuned, folks. We will be right back after a few consumer-oriented product endorsements. My uncle knew how to make things disappear as well. I also know where, but I mustn't tell anyone on Earth. Well, after all, I'm not really from Earth. Your uncle is a wizard. So what do I have to do to make you tell me? So what do I have to do to make you tell me? Hmm, there's only one thing I can think of. Can you prove you're not an earthling? I'll think of something. Oh, okay. Look, 
This is the star log I'm using to stay in contact with my home planet. Just met human child Lenny, keeper of a cosmic secret. Awesome. Is this a star log for real? May I please? My pleasure. This is Lenny of Planet Earth speaking. My uncle had a secret stash hidden under a loose plank in room 3. Room 3? That happens to be my room. Room 3 used to be where my uncle Heinz lived. And where is your uncle now? My mom says he is now living on planet No Good. <laughs> okay, well. I need to know what happens next. Good morning. Morning, Mr. Let's see, uh, let's report a theft. This establishment you call your own is a charm. Can you tell me something about the old cable car? Can you tell me something about the old cable car? The cable car leads up to the old mine. It used to belong to the Baron von Sülz. Then this company from overseas forced him to sell it. Who exactly is this Baron von Sülz? Baron von Sülz used to run the mine, a philanthropist and patron of the arts. His wife was a flamboyant Baroness von Sülz. You must have heard of her. Anyway, when the company took over the mine, the Baroness dropped him as well and left the Baron behind. A broken man. Now his cat is his only remaining pleasure. What were they mining for? Do you know? An old silver mine. So nothing a um, quantum physicist would be interested in. It's been a few years, back in the days, when there was enough work for everyone. Then this company took over the mine, only to shut it down immediately. So why did they shut down the mine? There is talk and rumors all over the town. Allegedly, people started disappearing without a trace. Tourists, poor laborers without families, the odd stranger. Some folks were also talking about toxic residues in the air and the water. But nobody knows anything with certainty. If you ask me, I'm just glad the whole affair has come to an end. All those rumors have kept spa guests away for years, as you can see for yourself. What about this mysterious company you were talking of? They are called Millennium Cooperative or something like that. A very dubious corporation. They have connections to the top, if you know what I mean. Way up to the highest circles of power. What became of the people working the mine? More and more outsiders came to town. Nobody knows what they were actually doing in the mines. Some went missing, some went crazy, who can tell? At one point, they even bought the old sanitarium in order to provide housing for their workers. That was before the mine shut down, of course. Would you wrap up the whole story? The cable car leads up to the... It used to belong to the Baron von Sülz. They are called Millennium Corp. A very dubious corp... I've heard enough. Anything else? This establishment you call your own has quite the charm. A family business for more than 75 years. Actually, I took over the guest house together with my brother. But now it's just me and my little daughter. Being the only guest, I was wondering, how's the season going so far? Season? We haven't had one in ages. Your daughter really likes watching TV, huh? You see, the kid is always in front of the box. She's got her mind set on extraterrestrials and alien worlds. Nonsense, don't you think? So what happened to your brother? The only interest that scoundrel had was in his bottles. In the end, that good-for-nothing took a half too much of his bolts and shoes and just made off. That door over there hasn't been opened in a while, has it? That's the door to the cellar, where my brother built his little lair. No one has taken any interest in that door since he left. He just took the key with him. Anything else I can do for you? 
Truda, would you pour me one of your Pilsner beers, please? Just a second, Professor. Here, a coaster. There you go. Cheers. Whoa, where? Oh. Okay, there it is. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, oh. It's caught chugging it. It's kind of making me uneasy. Just watch you just take it her eyes off of them and I don't know. I don't know what to think about that. Morning, Mr. Ten. I'd like to report it. There was an uninvited guest in my room last night. In our house. Oh dear, I'm so very sorry. Let me call the police immediately. Thanks. I will keep you informed. I'll be leaving then. Make yourself. Why speak like that? I mean, her her movements just seem really, really rough, though. <laughs> okay. Before you even know, the world lies in ruins. I hope this isn't a bad omen. Okay, so we'll look, there we go. Huh. Look under the floorboard. There really is a hidden stash below. Loads of useless junk and an almost empty bottle of schnapps. I'll only take the schnapps. Bolts and shoes. There's something lying on the floor. It's a massage rod. Oh, Somebody must have misplaced it. Maybe somebody hid their money in there. Supplemental. I'm afraid the condition of my room is far below expected. No. What do you mean, no? Let's see. Can get that. Yep, yep, yep. Mm. Yeah, so we missed the towels. Okay, well, I thought we could pick the towels up. Okay. The guest list. <laughs> hey, dark chocolate and whiskey were great. We'll come again. Beautiful village and a fine cozy establishment if I can get away from the hustle and bustle of London. A nerve from a land far, far away from here. Girl, Yuki Suzuki. Hmm. Sorry about the mess. Just traveling around Europe as a curious American. 
What a pleasant stay. I feel like I should write a mystery novel now. Yeah, I really like Trooper Burke. The research scientist passing through. Space flight engineer passing through. Female nerd. The weather has brightened up. Fresh air is still the preferable way to dry your laundry. Hey, mister. The antenna provides TV reception for the guest house. Hey, mister. <laughs> what messes up her TV? <laughs> So we should be able to fix that wobbly table now. Let's see. It might be able to support a glass of beer, but not this table. Actually, it just needs one more mew. My father used to say, the only thing more stable than a beer coaster was two beer coasters. And I think I finally understand what he meant. The 998 years of Trooper Brook. All that we wish for is a wonderful festivity for a wonderful place that is our beloved Trooper Brook. New bus schedule, creepy finding in the swamps. Right. While killing time in the swamps, came upon a real genuine bone. What's this? The table stopped wobbling? Oh, thank you so very much. I was hardly able to focus on anything else but this cursed wobblery. Thank you, but I believe this ordinary table is not deserving of your delicate tablecloth. Actually, it's quite a nice table. Good morning. Excuse You've got yourself a nice spot here. The name is Baron Otto Titan from Trüberbrook Stutz. Tannhauser, pleased to meet you. Please, come over. Don't waste the opportunity to put up with the company of a lonely, broken old man. Are you from around these parts? You may very well say so. I put all my life's work into the well-being and prosperity of Trubabrook. I once was the owner of both, the mines and the cable car. That's all history now. Do you have any friends or family? My spouse left me for good, and my beloved Trubabrook is slowly going down the drain. Only Claus remained loyal to me all these years. Alas, now even he has disappeared. Who is Claus? Claus is my tomcat. 
an angel of an animal. He was the only one to always remain by my side. But now, he's vanished, without a trace. Everything in this world is going down the drain. Mark my words. Was Claus abducted? I don't know. Claus was always faithful and stood by my side. Then he just disappeared without a trace. You can't rely on anything in this world anymore. Let me tell you. It's just awful. What kind of a strange place is this? Well, you should know. This used to be one of the most beautiful spots on the face of the planet. The fair and the fortunate came here for treatment. Travelers and tourists of all fashion. Citizens that weren't occupied in the tourism business found work in the mines. But it's all over now. Do you still have the key to the old cable car, by any chance? Please excuse me, but I need to be on my own now. I need some rest to mourn for Claude. Could you tell me something about the cable car in this town? Ugh, don't bring up the old cable car. I don't even want to think about it. Any news about Claus? Nothing. So what's with the cable car? I used to own the cable car. In fact, uh, the whole mine. Everything was taken away from me. Those maniacs destroyed everything. The cable car, the mine, the whole village. Please, go on. More and more outsiders came to town. What they were actually up to in the mine, no one knows for certain. But after a few years of quick profits, they shut down the place and closed the cable car all together in one go. Just think of it. This was my life's work. They closed down the mines, drove away the people, and turned a once flourishing community into a ghost town. What do you mean they destroyed everything? First, they stripped me of the mine. Then, more and more dubious eggheads and foreign workers started pouring into town driving visitors away with the gigantic machines. Who are these maniacs you're referring to? The Millennium Cooperative, a multinational conglomerate of enterprises. Ruthless and unscrupulous. They leave us little family businesses with next to nothing. You ran a mining business? Well, but yes. I am the Baron von Sulz, entrepreneur and mining engineer in the third generation, district mayor of Trüberbrook Sulz and Trüberbrook Düssel, assistant secretary to the municipal council, patron of Trüberbrook and the arts, well known beyond the borders of this country. These must have been difficult times for you. I appreciate your concern. See, uh... Would you mind lending? <sighs> the cable car, the cable. There's nothing worth my life. Don't bother me with your mumbo jump. My faithful cat Claus has abandoned me. Please excuse me. Let's see. Small ads, postings. They're holding it exciting. Let's see a hanger the hall. Hmm.
So looking at what we have, we get this, so it's like a can of sardines, I think. That'd be a perfect thing for a cat, right? That's not how it works. Well, it could be. Good morning. Let's see. Yeah. You've got yourself. Please don't wait. Go through these again. Do you have any? My sp oh, alas. Oh. Do you still have? Please, I need some. Any news of nothing? Please excuse me. Let's see. I don't want to cover up these people's Oh my Okay, let's see A beautiful healthy tree Arcosoidu platinus the sycamore maple. We got it. Oh my. It looks desperate. It won't be this easy getting close to it. We know well enough that cats like to climb. Unfortunately, their bodies seem to be designed for climbing upwards only. Anyway, Beverly, I've spotted a gigantic red tabby in a tree, which, on closer inspection, could in fact also be more like a fox. Assistance may be required. Yeah, that's I'll just try luring the cat down with a mating call. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I don't think it's a cat. It looks more like a fox. Meow. Meow. Hmm. No reaction. I can't get close enough. A beautiful... Why don't you climb the tree? That's some sturdy, full-grown reed. Let's see. Got those, got that. Soft as a feather. Oh, uh -huh. a beautiful ocker. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Um. Wait. So we had the reed. Used that for a blowgun. Had the skewer from the food. Alcohol. And he used that as like a dart to blow at the. Okay, it's a fox. Ain't no damn cat. It's a fox. In the tree. That seems kind of like overkill, right?
Okay. You like this, don't you? That's a fox, that's no cat. Get you, go get you, go get you, and ah, wait, hey, Claus. Go. Excuse. Any news about nothing? Please excuse. Let's see. Um. Nowhere to run from here, kitty. Oh. He's just passed out. Now I've got you. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. I... Let's see. We we <laughs> no, we we blew a dart at the. I'll make quotation marks here. Cat air quotes. Cat up on a tree. It fell out of the tree onto our little blanket of the head and the rowboat blow it, bounced off of it, ran back to the town. We lured it out from its hiding spot with the camp sardines, tossed a box on top of it. It went running off again with the box on it. Then we scared it. It ran over and got shocked by the live electrical cables. And we just say, oh, it's just knocked out. And we put the portal thing through a bit of hell. Is this by chance your cat, Claus? Oh, my beloved Claus. Where have you been? You look exhausted, old friend. Looks a bit beat up. I think that's what it is. Good morning. Would you mind lending me the key to the old cable car? You've been so kind to me today. You have reunited an old man with his loyal cat. I'd have given you everything. My heritage, my stocks, my startups. Yet all you desire in your modesty is this aged key. Here you are. I can't fathom what you may want with it, but please take it. Well, I, I didn't know the other things were an option. I would have taken the stocks and the startups and... Uh, well, hmm. Now it's glowing green. Hello. Hey. I wonder what interest the burglar has in my paper. Presumably not the brightest candle on the cake. Who else would steal a paper on quantum physics? So, how long have you been here? The day before yesterday. Feels much longer though. And just saying, the public transportation around here, Germany is a mess. Why Triberbrook of all places? It's hard to find, even on a map. But I'm not from these parts, after all. I've been trying to pinpoint the exact location of those ritual grounds for a while now. And when I finally found them, I immediately took off. The people around here are nice, but also a little weird, don't you think?
Something about them seems a bit off. Yeah. Tell me about yourself. What would you like to know? So you're from the States, huh? The United States of America. Where from exactly? Woodenville, Washington. Hmm. Never heard of it. Any bigger cities nearby that I might know? Seattle, the rainy jewel of the Northwest. Heard of it? Oh, yes. I know the place. I was passing through some time ago. You've been to the States? Yes, once. That was a few years back, though. Actually, I had come to New York to attend a conference. But then I got acquainted with some folks there and stayed a while longer. A while longer? In New York City? Not the whole time, no. I took a little road trip. First off to the New England states, Boston, Waterville, all the way up to Moosehead Lake, Mount Katahdin and so on. Then Canada and the Midwest. Montreal, Toronto, Detroit, Chicago. On and on. Then Washington state, sort of got stuck there. Oregon, down to San Francisco. Ah, those were the days. Wow, you must have passed through Seattle on the way then. Hmm, yes, maybe. And that's where you study? No, I studied on the East Coast, the Cornell, Ithaca, under Dr. Schrodinger. Have you heard of him? Ah, of course. Now I understand why you're on exchange in Germany. Exchange? No, it's more of a coincidence. I won the trip. You won? Don't ask me. I've never taken part in any lottery. Interesting. Uh-huh. So, so. Hello. Hey. About the cable car. What was the problem? We have to fix the high voltage power cord in order to get the cable. If you touch it, it will fry your synapse. We still have to reconnect the loose ends. Anything else I... No, thanks. Good, and I tried to... Something's jammed there. Let's see. That's not how it works. Well, it should be. Good morning. You have... You have... Let's see. Uh, hey, what's that one? Let me see that one. The time-traveling machine. Complete nonsense from a quantum mechanical perspective. Oh, <laughs> thanks. For me? I found it under the bed. And now you want to, um, let's say, pawn this device in exchange for a fishing rod? Uh, yes, that sounds like a good deal. God. Dude, just that look at her face like, oh! Just be sure to bring it back, will you? <laughs> it was that look on her face, just that whole, it's almost like a, uh, uh, a shocked look. Like you... It's like, you found it. You, you found my item. <laughs> oh, can we go to the dock and go fishing? Maybe fish something up? I'm trying to power walk all over the place. Let's see. Uh, okay, so the, the fishing rod and the maggot go together. Well then, good catch. Any minute now. Something good. Something big! All oh, right in the face. What the? Uh, can opener?
Okay, uh... That's where I'm trying to power walk over the place. Okay, let's see here, uh... You can't open on it. Not what I had in mind, but... Now it's a case for the metal restorer. A set of armor, professionally disassembled. So let's see, we're, we're a stranger in this little town. And that was like their little... Attraction, pretty much. And we just tossed a can opener at it and it just fell apart. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. We can't pair walk with this thing on. <laughs> Hilarious the Unready? Is that you? I don't want to frighten him. Yeah, I mean, he wouldn't notice anyway. Say something like, Oh, well, how are you in a super warmer? Voila, there's a current again. I'll just leave it like that. Oh, yeah, professionally reassembled. Good times. Hi. Hey. About the cable car. And you really want the... Why are you afraid? Whatever we find over there could be of great importance to the Institute of Anthropology. Come on already. And that cable car looks sturdy enough, doesn't it? What do you do for a leave? She's an anthropologist. Kind of a cause that you're looking for. What kind of a... A proto-Germanic cult here in the mountain. Proto-Germanic meaning before the Germans. Where they made contact with their god. Exciting, huh? About this... Were they dangerous? The Tenhauser, they're all dead. The thing about spirits? That was a joke, okay? Okay. We might as well... Tenhauser, I can't help the feeling you're not 100%. It's very important for my... Re Maybe we'll find your notes. Notes? It is a timeless. Okay, I'll try to come up. Anything else? No thanks. Well then, bye. Bye. See you soon. Now it's glowing green. I'm sure this will take us up the mountain. If only I had another coat hanger. Okay, so we need another coat hanger. Morning. About the cable. Sure. What else? Do you have an... After he had lost the mine, the cable car, if you ask me. I've heard enough. Anything. I'll be... Make your...
I need to know what. Well. Okay, so when we go upstairs, you just automatically go into your room. Ah. Just a hanger. This will take us up the mountain. You're a funny man, Tenhauser. I like it. Talk to Man, you're some klutz. We'll meet on top. In case you manage to find a way, see ya! In case you manage to survive, that is. Chapter 2 Journey Soul. And this is the afterlife, Hello. guys. That was a short game. <laughs> Hello! Neck circumference, 39 centimeters. Heart rate, 66 steady. Generally neglected, yet overall stable condition. Vigilance decrement, patient somnolent. Reduced effect display. Skin pigmentation, livid. Nutritional basic needs, barely met. Muscular system recessive, possible myopathy. Barrel shaped thorax, strongly noticeable funnel chest. Raisin colored nodes on both sides of the mid clavicular line in the fourth ICS. Marfan syndrome, arachnodactyly. Lower extremities atrophic. Enormous kyphosis. Extremities bilaterally impaired, reduced muscle tone. Weak monosynaptic reflex. Past finger nose coherence hmm. test line wow. without anomalies. Wow. Abdomen flexible, no hardening. Overly vibrant huh? bowel noises. <laughs> Brisk peristalsis. Huh? Reduce breathing sound, huh? right hand side, basal. Hyper reflexia, mood agitated. Patient's condition unclear. Where am I? Patient has regained consciousness and appears responsive. Excuse me, please. Could you tell me where I am? Patient's orientation to person, space, time, and dimension remains unclear. <sighs> I have to ask you a couple of questions. How are you feeling? Feel a little dizzy, maybe? My head hurts. Who are you? I'm Bobbin. Are you my mother? Ouch. Who are you? Selling these spine massage rods. But you gave your only one away. Well, you trade it for a fishing rod. But it was only temporary though, so you gotta take it back. My name is Hans. What are you doing here? Passing through, the original deal was to go on vacation. The original idea was to go on vacation. Assuming you knew, where have you been born or assembled? Born or assembled? Assembled? 
Have you ever had a déjà vu? I'm talking crazy talk. Only that I don't even understand this question either. Have you ever had an out-of-body experience? You are going to have an out-of-body experience in a moment, pal. Interesting. Please remain prepared for further examinations. Are you even listening to me? I'm afraid we can't let you leave until we have verified your right to stay. It's for your own safety. Just knock the door loud and clearly when you feel able to undergo a few more experiments. I'll be there to pick you up. The patient's status remains unclear. Uh, I'm feeling a little dizzy. Dr. Remla, please behave. Aww. They took away all my cool gadgets and locked me up in this small room. I tried protesting, but to no avail. What have I gotten myself into? It definitely doesn't feel like a relaxing summer vacation so far. I'm not really sure what kind of cool gadgets he's talking about. An anatomical model of a kind of human. Hey, buddy. Duh. It's locked tight. Okay, Brute put in bed. <laughs> Why, of course. But where? Eh. It's covered in mold. A good dose of chloride is the only option. It's calcified. Memories of my dorm room, not so long ago. No water pressure. Or clogged. Looks rusty. A coin. It fell right out of the shower head and right into my inventory for some cosmic reason. The benefits of capitalism. <laughs> now it's working. They don't seem to take hygiene too seriously around here. I'd rather not know what happened here. I'm feeling a light breeze of air. Maybe I can squeeze through. I think so. I could use this to climb to the hatch. A fuse box. The lid is hanging off its hinges. Pride. I need a very special tool and a screw those very small screws. What a coin for him. The sanatorium. Okay. That's where I came through. I guess they gonna call it there for that. No. Uh, we 
so far it's seems to be the further you go the more mystery you find so yeah we, we, we might keep playing tomorrow night Actually, I do like the visuals of the game, even though some of the character models are a bit rough. Especially like the, uh, the innkeeper. Uh, Gameplay wise, it's just your standard point and click. Can't really tell much about the story just yet, though. So yeah, we'll probably keep playing tomorrow night, see where it goes to. We'll see. Alright guys, um... Thank you for stopping by. As always, appreciate it. I will see y'all tomorrow night. And as always, I hope you have a good rest of your night.